Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go in a different direction now. I'm going to start talking about, um, oh, just various interesting little packages you can find in Smalltalk. Some of them are built in and some of them you have to download. By built in, I mean they're included with a basic distribution. So, let's take a look at one such. Oops, wrong thing. Go back and find the original text. All right. I'm installing a little package called connectors using the installer script or the installer class. It's going to be found at squeak source. That's what the SS stands for. Um, the project is called connectors. The easiest way to install it is to install the update which will install a bunch of stuff all at once, and then install the latest version of Connectors, which is Connectors CMM, which stands for the guy who contributed it. It's number 197, and we're going to do it. And it starts downloading and installing the various source code, and then compiling it. This should only take a minute, I hope. Almost there. There we go. Okay, let's open a browser and see what we got. At the very bottom of the browser, we will find the various connector packages. So let's go to the connector demo, click on the NC class hierarchy di diagram, and we'll find a thing saying D underscore. Underscore is an old style way of saying colon equals. So we're going to actually correct that, what is now a typo. Colon equals. And now we're going to type in simple button morph, which is a morph class that implements a simple button. Now you can see what happens when I select these two lines and do it. Mm -hmm. With awesome class. first. Well, let's not do this. Second. Okay, I know. Let's do this first so it'll we'll know what to do next. There we go. It apparently needed to be initialized by going through and doing this. So now we're going to remove all, which will clear the screen. Now we're going to do our simple thing. Simple button morph. Simple button morph. Oh, don't need that. There we are. That's what we needed. All right. Notice there's a little bug here. If it's drawn too close to something else, the arrows get confused. But anyway, here we are. Simple button morph. A simple button morph is a morph that implements a simple button. It has several subclasses. You can see the subclasses and some of the subclasses even have subclasses. You get the idea. It's pretty cool. What does it do? Well, it just draws arrows connecting little boxes. There's a lot more you can do with it, and I'll, I'll write more tutorials, or make more tutorials as I go along. I have a funny feeling that you'll be able to do things like uh, draw a line between two boxes and, and make a programming system out of it, so you could 
as you can with other systems. Type in something here and put output over here and things like that. Or say in a, in a game program you could show the connections between uh, different factions in a uh, in some kind of game or show the connections between different worlds or whatever anything that you need to draw little boxes or circles or whatever and lines between them notice you could in theory reconnect the buttons etc so let's remove all and end this tutorial before I make a bigger fool of myself by doing something else wrong <laughs>